Well, with me in the studio now is Susan Gashak. She's a senior Lib Dem figure who sits on one of the party's decision-making committees. And we can reveal now that she is one of the women who made the original allegations against Lord Renard to this programme. She spoke to us anonymously last year, but tonight she's agreed to waive her anonymity for the first time. Susan Gashak, I'm not going to take you through the original allegations you made and we broadcast anonymously last year, but you're on this powerful committee. Lord Renard is now free to rejoin another committee. How do you feel about the prospect of working alongside him again? It's going to be very difficult in my role on the committee that I sit on because the committee that I sit on means that I chair conference and I get to choose who speaks during debates at conference. And if Chris Renard puts on a card, am I to call him? Am I to call him and then ask him if he's going to apologise to me while being broadcast on television? But working alongside him is going to be extremely difficult. How will you cope with that? How will you deal with that? Um, I guess I'm will put on a brave face and continue to be strong and get through this. But it's not nice. He owes me an apology, and that's the minimum that he owes me. Well, Lord Renard is refusing to apologise, and you saw in that piece that, I, that we just ran that there is a warning that women will feel if they don't get an apology, they'll quit the party. What's the status of your Lib Dem membership tonight? The scissors of my membership at card are dating is the way that I'm describing it. I don't want to rush into anything. And part of me says, actually, why should I? I have done nothing wrong. I have told the truth. I've been a member of this party for 25 years. Why should I resign? But if you don't get an apology from Lord Renard, as you say, the scissors and the membership card are dating, uh, you might well cut it up. I may well cut it up. I'm going to sleep on it and I'm going to make it a very rational decision before I cut it up. But I really would like that apology and that's the minimum I should expect. Well, what can Nick Clegg do to persuade you to stay in the party and stay on that powerful committee? Nick phoned me last night and apologised as he did to all the women. and. He reassured me that he wants to change the rules to make sure this doesn't happen again. But he needs to be firmer. We shouldn't be calling for the women's resignations. We should be calling for Renard's resignation. And that should be the membership as well as the MPs. But Nick Clegg says he's powerless, effectively, to remove the whip or to kick him out of the party because there's been no proof he's been found guilty of nothing. But he hasn't been found not guilty either. So I really think that someone needs to man up a little and actually do something about this. We can't continue to have this situation where someone hasn't been proven guilty but hasn't been proven innocent and the women are told that they are believed and he is told to apologise but nothing happens. This is unfair. This is not justice. And you think Nick Clegg needs to man up? He's the man who needs to man up. If not him, it has to be Tim Farron. But someone at the top party of the president. party actually has got to do something about this. So why aren't they then? Because the rules are weak and the rules Is it the are rules are right. weak or is it Lord Renard is powerful? No, I think I think the rules are weak are weak and have been found to be flawed and to be archaic in, in the way that this process has now been laid out. But what we've got to do is change those rules to make sure it never happens again. But what we need to do is find a reason and a way to actually say enough is enough. Lord Reynard must go. There are quite a few peers tonight, though, who are saying they're really angry with the way that Lord Reynard has been treated. What do you say to them? What I say to them is they were not at the hands of Lord Reynard. They did, weren't there in the situations. They have made judgments and supported their friend, but they haven't listened to the rest of us. What's this going to do for the reputation of the party with women voters and also women potential candidates? I'm worried about what women voters will, are thinking. I was speaking to people in coffee shops today and they, they were quite appalled when I said what I was coming to do this evening. They said, go on, stand up for us. But women need to be within the party, standing up for other women and showing that you can be strong and you can get somewhere and you can get your point across. Susan Gashak, thank you very much for coming in tonight. Well, we did ask senior members of the Liberal Democrats and of course, Lord Renard himself to appear on the programme, but no one was available.